In this video, I'll summarize the key insights from the A1 trainings playlist. Let's get started! So, what exactly is DigiParalyf Designer? Well, it's your go-to tool for designing and planning elevators effortlessly. With just a few clicks, you can whip up complete elevator drawings and seamlessly integrate Lift Designer into your BIM projects. Now let's dive into creating a new elevator project. First, enter your main project information. Then, set up your building data, things like the number of floors and the floor-to-floor -floor distance. Then, choose your main requirements in step 3, like the payload. Next, decide where to place the drive and counterweight and select your preferred roping options. Finally, choose from a range of sheet templates that adapt to your model automatically. Once you're comfortable setting up an elevator project, let's explore where to find those important docking windows. Most of them are conveniently located at the end of the Start tab while some can be found on theme tabs, like the Visualize tab, where you find the 3D view docking window. Now let's talk about exchanging components. Simply double-click on the component you want to exchange or use the Selection button in the Properties. This opens the navigator, making it easy to pick another component. Need to edit dimensions? No problem! Double-click on the dimension you want to change and enter your desired value. It's crucial to understand that you cannot directly modify a shaft size in DigiPara Lift Designer. Rather, you should select the shaft dimension and make adjustments through the relevant dimensions such as car width and wall clearances in the Properties window. Continue tweaking these values until you achieve the desired shaft size. The floor levels give you many options for customizing your model. You can set the number of floors, the distance from floor to floor, entrances, for instance, on the rear wall, and more. Lastly, let's discuss the 2D drawing exports. Lift Designer provides a range of export options from PDFs to DWGs. Easily access your exported DWG files in AutoCAD with just a double click on the green bar. For more detailed knowledge, check out the tutorials for each topic. Thanks for watching!